This week, we're hanging out with our gnomies. <laughs> and we even made some interchangeable pieces, the hats, and the little things that he's getting to hold. It's like a holiday thing. And we'll show you how we made them right now. What is up? Welcome back. Do you like to do a build it or make it? We do too. And we have a new video every week. This week, we're going where no man has gone before. It's like bottom of the ninth, bases are loaded, tie score. Now it's time to hit a, a grand slam gnome run. Well, <laughs> let me back it up a little bit and start with today is my birthday. Happy! <laughs> and secondly, I had some creator's block this week. It, like, typically we're a little behind in the filming anyway. We're, we're like just in time filmers. So usually I come up yes. with the idea Friday, Saturday, you know, I kind of know what we want to do. We gather supplies Sunday, film Sunday, maybe Monday, something like that. Mostly Produce Tuesday. the video Friday. But this week, I didn't know what I wanted to do Saturday. I couldn't make a decision on Sunday. She had no idea. Monday, I had an idea and I sent Garrett to figure out how this would work. Work it, work it out, work it out, Garrett. And he spent a day and a half on it and we couldn't get it to work. It's on the project shelf. It'll, we'll come back to it. It's going to be a great project if I can get it to work and it's shippable and all of that stuff. It'll be fun. So, enter, what's today? Wednesday. So, Monday night, about 11 o'clock. Here we are trying to still trying to figure out the project. I come up with an idea. Yesterday he prototypes it. We get it ready, and now here we are after work on Wednesday, 6:30. We're gonna start filming this video. So that was a super long <laughs> intro to say we have to make a quick and easy project this week because I couldn't get it together. And guess what? I don't know. Even ready for next week. Here we are <laughs> approaching next week's project. But I'll get, I'll get it together. I'll get it together for that. But for now, we have a great idea for this week. It'll be quick and easy, so, um, but it'll be fun and it's fall related. Actually, it's all season. It's another yeah. one of these all season Back projects. Interchangeable. Yep. You know how we like the interchangeable. So we're making interchangeable gnomes. You know. Gnomes. You thought we were going to say a home sign, but now we're going with an interchangeable gnome sign. Yeah, so during my creator's block, my oldest daughter, Courtney, who's helping us with our social media, posted out on Facebook, give us some fall DIY ideas, and you guys really came through. We got a lot of comments, and Patty gave us a lot of great ideas, so it was her idea to do the fall porch gnome, which I still want to do. But I can't make him big enough for a porch yet. I want him 36 inches and I haven't figured that one out yet. But I do have a desktop version. Well, he's like, he could be on like on a small porch. Or like, gnomes are small. I don't know. Yeah, he could you could be guys judge. a little, you little gnome right. on your porch. <laughs> put this gnome wherever you want. <laughs> I envision he's a desktop gnome or tabletop. Entryway table is really what I'm thinking. I mean, we really have gnome room to tell you where to put it. He's, um, just so you know, he is stacked and loaded with gnome puns and ready to go. I heard him talking to himself. As soon as she <laughs> told me what the project was. <laughs> He's searching gnome puns. <laughs> I said, oh, uh, this one's going to be punny. <laughs> yeah, get ready. This she said, punny. do you have enough? And I said, gnome problem. <laughs> All right, enough talking. Why don't we get this project started? <laughs> Step one, we're going to gather all of our supplies. For this one, we really just needed some MDF, like a bunch of sheets. I don't even know how many yet, so I'm going to start with four. But we're making two of them. I'm doing my own gnome. She's going to do a gnome. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> So we'll put the SVG file on our site and you guys can go get that if you want it and try and cut it out. So last year we did a really cute Grinch hand mm -hmm. which we cut out using the X-Carve and the Cricut. You could do something similar with this one. I mean, you may have a little difficult time standing up. You may have to put <laughs> one around or something like that. He'll work with like chipboard 
Yeah. You shrink them down too, because I want to make a big one. I want to make a big. I want to make a 36 inch one, but I'm, I'm gonna make as I'm big as I can, that out yet. <laughs> as big as I can cut in the Glowforge. I'm going tip to tip. <laughs> Step two. We're gonna make all of our cuts. Oh my goodness. I gotta take the MDF over to the Glowforge and we're gonna cut out all of our little gnome shapes. There's like a bunch of little shapes. It's gonna be 3D. It's gonna pop. It's gonna stand out. It's gonna stand up. Step three. Now we paint. We paint all of our gnome and all of our accents. I'm not gonna paint all of my stuff though. Like, I'm gonna cheat. I'm gonna do super cheat. Well, and I am too in, in the sense that you can paint your hat a solid color, but I really liked what Garrett did the other day when he covered his um, door tags. So I'm gonna cover my hat in this cute fall paper, oh, which I have pre-picked. <laughs> <laughs> and so I'm gonna cut that out and I'm gonna Mod Podge that onto my little gnome here. You're not gonna wing it? No, I'm not winging it. I'm not really a winger. You're not going without a net? Yeah, nope, I'm going with a net. What are you doing? You're not even ready. He's not, not even ready, ready over there. I'm not ready. <laughs> I'm gonna paint my gnome first. I'm gonna get him going. What are you painting yours? I'm gonna, oh, I can't, hold on. I'm a little bit ahead of myself. I've gotta cut out my hat first. Yeah. I was ready to glue the glue paper. Glue it on and then cut around it. You think so? Yeah. I, are you, sh you think so? Mm hmm That's how I did my tags. Remember? You should go back and watch the video. <laughs> I mod podged it down. Then once it dried, I flipped it over and cut around it. Alright, well, do you think that was easier than just cutting it to size to oh, start with? it's totally easier. And it, and it lined right up and I came back in with that black marker and touched up the edge of the paper. Looked seamless. Alright, alright, that's all I'm doing. Alright, so should I paint my guy's pants blue? Yes, why don't you tell them about our fancy paints, Garrett? We got these great paints. <laughs> I am sold on them now because they they cover things in one coat. We paint a lot of MDF and this paint goes on in one coat and I hate to come back. I mean that's the main reason I hate painting, is having to put a second coat on or it leaves those brush marks. It just looks, yeah. And I don't have the patience to go back in on a second coat. I mean, I already painted it once. What more do you want? <laughs> yeah, I really love these country chic paints. I agree. I, we were working with them last night and they really do cover in one coat. And I can't tell you how much I love having such a variety of colors. Now I know I have the acrylics, but they were still your basic colors. And I really Dang. love these farmhouse colors in this in this palette here. It's different than your kind of, what, what would you call it? Like your traditional palette? Like your yeah. carnival palette or something? It's all like slightly muted. It's cool. It's cool. All right, I'm giving them blue pants, right? Okay. Oops. Where do gnomes originate? I don't know. I meant to do some gnome facts. I ran out of time today. All right. I gave him some leader hosen. His beard's going to go over that, so you're not going to see that. But we'll know. You and I will know that he's got leader hosen on <laughs> underneath his beard. Just leader hosen. He's got an open chest. This is a great color. Look at that. Yeah, that's a good color. Nobody could have known that that would have worked. Oh. So speaking of gnome puns, do you have a pun for gnomes? Leave it in the comments down below. <laughs> like, we'll just get a couple out of the way. Like, gnome sweet gnome. There's gnome place like gnome. Mama, I'm coming gnome. <laughs> Love the gnome you're with. Sweet gnome, Alabama. Oh, here we go. Now we got the songs. That's why you're yeah. gonna. 
Mm -hmm. That would get stuck there. Yep. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Already there. Yes, while those things are drying, um, I can start on my uh, holiday accents. So, we decided for this little gnome set, we're going to do two sets of interchangeable accents. Accents. We're going to do a fall, winter, and then a su spring, summer. Spring, yeah. summer, yeah. Those so. We'll do this maple leaf, snowflake, the heart, a little wreath, a pumpkin, and then a jack-o'-lantern. And then the other set is going to have March is a shamrock. Shamrock. April was something Easter. for Easter, yeah. like a bunny. Was there was a star with a flag on it for July. That's right. Oh, flip-flops. There's six of them. You know. I'm missing one. 12 months. I think we just skip September. Let's all yeah. pretend September doesn't happen. <laughs> so there will be a I think it's spring, back to a leaf. Spring summer. There'll be a spring summer set to go with these as well. So, uh, but we only have the leaf. fall winter cut today because I'm doing I'm doing the fall and Christmas. I did this already. A pumpkin. Oh, I wasn't paying attention to that. <laughs> So I see what you did there with your Mod Podge, but I'm going to take it to a whole other level. I'm going to put my paper on this board first. Oh, I forgot my paper. Get it back. I'm going to put my paper on first, Mod Podge my paper down. Then I'm going to cut it out on the glue forge. What are you going to cut out? My shapes. I'm going to recut out my shapes. Stuff. Well, that is cheating. <laughs> it is cheating. I told you. It was going to be a super cheat. And I found a little tip uh, as I've been working with these uh, laser laser cut pieces um, well one tip it is nice to um, prime them first so that they're kind of a light base coat yeah. but you don't necessarily have to I'm not on these um, so that's one thing but these pumpkins actually have um, what is this scored engraved lines yeah, in them score marks so you know exactly so like some of the accents are already done for you so when I paint over them like I just did, uh, you can go back and for the little ribs here in the pumpkin, you can just use a little, um, well, I'm using this, um, what is this, like picker tool? Yeah. Or you could use a toothpick and you can just run it right down that little groove and it clears it right out of paint and it brings it right back and it was nice and easy. So I'm gonna show you here. Almost like there was gnome paint in it. Did you just say gnome paint in it? Huh. Alright, so I Mod Podged it down and then I put a light coat of Mod Podge over it because I'm going to mask it off. So I don't want the masking tape to peel the paper up. So. And so that's going to kind of protect it? Yeah. Hoping that protects it. Alright, and so here, I hope you can see it. Here the little lines have come back because I just kind of drug the little, or is it, picker tool right through there. Alright, so in case you want the screen, now he's got a little green stem. Alright, I'll set that aside. And I'm also going to do a Christmas gnome. Uh, so I'm going to do another hat with the which, by the way, I should probably go ahead and start mod podging that so it'll dry. But I'm going to do this little wreath, and I'm going to paint him green 
with a red bow and red berries and yellow stars. Seems exciting. So, so exciting. <laughs> Rolling in my 5.0. Put my rag top down so my hair can pull it. Girl is on standby. Waiting just to say hi. Did you stop? No. no. I, just drove by. I just drove by. Well, I got one movie quotes. Oh, let's hear it. Winter is gnoming. Oh, that's a good, that's, that's not a movie quote. It's a show quote, I guess. Okay, you're right. And it's from that show, uh, Game of Gnomes. <laughs> All right, it's pretty dry. I'm gonna mask it off now. I don't want the smoke to get on there. I don't. You can't really rub the smoke off the paper, so I'm gonna mask it off. All set. Back to the glow forge. Back with all my little pieces. You're gonna cut that out by hand. I just cut mine out on the glow forge. Uh oh. Oh, I just broke the stem off. Oh no. That's okay. I'll glue it on. Let me peel back the mask and see how it came out. Bam, there's my pumpkin. See it? Without the stem. Bam, there's my heart. Little Valentine's heart. Check it out, babe. Mm -hmm. My leaf. My Wiz Khalifa. So my paper is white core. Uh, so I'm going to use this little black paint uh, paint marker here to just kind of, you know, make those edges the same as the side. I'm just going to make them black. So here's this cute little hat. And I think... You're right, because it's paper, it's indoor, it probably doesn't need it, but I think that coat of Mod Podge is a good idea. Yeah, you're going to throw some on it? Yeah. Can I use your little uh, brush right here? Yeah. This just will seal it. I think next steps is assembly. Put it all together. This Gorilla Glue is like an E6000, but we found a Gorilla Glue version. And guess what? I think we can get it to stick in two seconds. You just have to give it um, about two minutes to set up a little bit. Then add your top piece, your glued on piece. What are you, glue? what are you doing? I'm going to glue my hat on. Are you gluing your hat on? No, because he's interchangeable. What am I doing? Gluing your hat on. <laughs> he was going to be a permanent hat. Could be. Could be a permanent hat. I need to glue my beard on. <laughs> so beard I was on. getting ready to do it. <laughs> there, I'll go get some paper towels. Okay, I'm I'll do it. Away. Uh, let me finish drying. I see he needs it. No. So I'm just going to use this hat for now to line up my beard. Lining up my beard. You may think it's weird. Alright, where's that glue now? No Is project that... ever took Ooh, Should I make perfect. his beard interchangeable so that we can see his leader hosing? No. going to use these really strong magnets. I'll have a link in the description. Somebody asked for them last time. I think we shared with you that they are crazy strong. I don't think we need crazy a magnet strong. this strong, but this is the magnets we have. So um, once you peel them away, Catch it. Get it, babe. Go, bring it. Yeah. Hold on. I got it. I think I got it. Ugh. 
Somebody took out the spacer. Yeah, that's the problem. There's a spacer missing. Get it? Get it? Don't let that magnet beat you. <laughs> you are more than this magnet, Kim. Come on, get it up. Oh, there you go. I got it. I got it. I got it. I got it. So what are you doing with the magnet? So I think I'm just gonna st set it here. And then I'm going to glue one of these washers on, like we did with the other project. Oh yeah, okay. I'll glue that onto the hat. The strong magnet will stay on the dome. Ah, oh, look at that. Okay. All right, pre-glued. It's gonna glue it anyway, yeah. Right, let me show you. So I put that and let it dry for two minutes. And now look, see? And it sticks right away. Now I wouldn't leave it that way, but. What I'm gonna do, we have a small set of hands and a bigger set of hands. The small set is gonna sit right behind the big set and glue down so that it leaves just enough of a gap where you can slide in your interchangeable accents. Um, so I'm just going to line up, I'm going to put my pumpkin here, line up where I want my little little hands to go, I'll glue those down. Do you, don't you have to put your nose on? Or your nose going on the hat? I'm going to put my nose on the hat. Mm, okay. <sighs> so my nose is dry and I'm going to add it. I've only got glue on the top half of my nose and I'm going to glue it to the top half here. So it'll sit over the beard. I glued my nose to my beard. I'm gonna try to go without a magnet. See if my nose will hold my hat on. Step is a... <laughs> I forgot what the steps were. <laughs> Last step. Last step. <laughs> we're gonna finish putting it together. So the glue's pretty dry. My hands are a little wiggly. Yeah, my hands are a little wiggly too, but they'll dry. So the base has these little slots for his little feet slots, his little feet tabs. Just gonna put his little feet tabs in the little base. Oh, it's so snug. <laughs> and now, I put his nose on half his beard. Well, I put half his nose on his beard, and I didn't use a magnet. I'm just going to slide my hats yeah, in and okay. out. Yeah, okay, so this is the preferred method. Mine works, it's good, but then you have to have extra noses. Um, so my nose is attached to the hat, has a little magnet, and jumps right on there. It jumps on. It does jump right on there. So yeah, let me jump off. Let me show you with our little leaf. I'll show you with a little pumpkin. Oh my goodness, look at how cute that is. So if you noticed, I cut mine just a little bit bigger than I Kim's. <laughs> <laughs> it's just a slightly bigger. I just have to make it just a little bit bigger. It'll be this size if you want to yeah. purchase one. That's the size. This is the limit that the Glowforge would cut. 19.9 inches. Here's a, here's here he is with the, his little pumpkin hands. Holiday gnome. See little that? Snowflake. Snowflake. Ain't nobody. Ain't nobody. All right. What do you guys think? This is a cute little quick and easy project, right? And you can make them interchangeable. It's time for a birthday dinner, so we gotta go. So, we will see you next week where we'll do it, build it, and make it again. Hmm. Might be time for a birthday wine. Oh. Might be time for a gnome balance. Look, he's doing a handstand. Headstand? Hatstand. <laughs> Nobody knows what I was trying to say. Want to get any last minute gnome puns in? I don't, I don't have any more. No?